So this is the uh, somatic field bus calculator. It's based on the Siemens AFDs. Um, I'm just going to take you through it and uh, show you some some examples. So because it's using the high power trunk concept, we're always using the uh, 1000 milliamp or the one amp um, coupler. So on PCS7, we can wire that as a redundant ring with uh, the active backplane. But as it stands at the moment, um, I can't see how you, you do that on TIA portal. So I'll, I'll do an example that can be true for TIA portal and PCS7. So I'm going to get rid of the redundant ring. Okay, and then if I have a look at this, I'm going to have three eight channel AFD uh, units, um, safe area. And then what I need to do is start putting my lengths in. So you can see here my first bit of cable from my uh, coupler. So this will be in a cabinet somewhere out into the field to my first AFD junction box is 50 meters. And then I have 15 meters, six meters to, to the next AFD. So that's my trunk. I don't have to worry about the termination resistance or anything like that because the AFD will automatically terminate. What I need to do then is look at my current draw and my spur length for, for each of these devices. Okay, So uh, for this example, I'm not using all of the, the connections on the 8 channel. If I was going to use this, this I could put in here 12 milliamps. Okay, And that now it needs a spur length. So for this example, I'm going to give that a bizarre spur, spur length compared to the others of 30 meters. And then if I click on the calculate button, I'll get um, a quick check. It, will give me, it gives me my total uh, uh, segment length, my device count, my spurs. I can see here my, my calculated uh, current draw. Um, you can see it's, I've only got one. I'm not using the redundant ring, so it's not calculating both of them. Uh, if I if I exceed the limits for these devices, it will go red. What it's not taking into account is the um, number of bytes per instrument. Um, so you're going to have to be a little bit conscious of that, and also really, you know, your cycle time. Um, uh, but if you're using the, the DP to PA link coupler, it, it's going to help you. If you're using the transparent, um, really I wouldn't recommend putting more than 25 devices on each one of the transparent couplers um, to keep a nice stable network. You can go up to 31, but um, uh, from my experience, I'd, I'd like to keep it lower than that. Okay. I'll put the link for that in the comments field. It's a free tool. Go and download it. Um, it only really works with the, the Siemens AFDs. Um, I'll just show you here. They're all the models. So if I went to the AFDIS and then recalculate, I can see that um, it's, uh, it's taken my AFDIS into account now on my high-powered trunk concept. So thanks for tuning in. That was a quick look at the field bus calculator for the Siemens AFD junction boxes for use on a Profibus PA network. Um, so we've gone through over two blogs how to design a, a PA network. And um, as I said, over the next few weeks, few months, we'll release blogs showing you how to uh, physically do that on TIA portal and PS PCS7. So thanks for listening.